If you are suffering from erectile dysfunction and you are not exercising your bulbocavernosus muscle, then you need to watch this video. Today we're not only going to go over that, but how to test this muscle strength and we're going to look at a systematic review that provides us with an exercise prescription for reducing or even eliminating ED. As a bonus, I'll include some traditional weight training exercises that will help to prevent or reverse erectile dysfunction. ED affects one third of all men and is oftentimes a symptom of other health conditions like heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and other blood flow or circulation issues. Anything you can do to improve your health will in turn improve symptoms of ED. They did a study back in 2005 and found that doing an exercise to strengthen the bulbocavernosus muscle could help with ED independent of healthy lifestyle changes. After three months, 40% of the test subjects regained normal erectile function, with another 35.5% having improved function. So it benefited over 75% of the men. The best way to find this muscle and develop a mind-muscle connection with it is next time you go pee, stop the flow midstream and hold it for 10 seconds. If you can't do this, then this muscle is weak and needs strengthening. The exercise you do is called a Kegel, and for a man it's done the same way as when you stop your pee midstream. You'll want to do this exercise for sets of 10 to 20 reps, holding the flex position for 5 seconds each rep, then releasing and repeating. Start by doing as many reps as you can, slowly building up to 20 reps 3 times a day. I read a systematic review that analyzed data from a group of studies on aerobic exercise and its effect on erectile function to find out how much exercise we need to reduce ED. These studies were done on people with obesity, hypertension, metabolic syndrome, and cardiovascular diseases, as well as a couple of studies that were done on people with no pre-diagnosed illness. They were just inactive. After reviewing all these studies, they came to the conclusion that 40 minutes of aerobic exercise done at a moderate or vigorous intensity four times a week, totaling 160 minutes of weekly exercise done for at least six months can improve or even reverse symptoms of ED. For an inactive person, this might seem like a lot of exercise, and it's slightly more than the typical recommendation of 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of high intensity. So it'd be good if you're an inactive person to work your way up to this level of exercise. So what exactly is moderate intensity exercise? Well, there are two ways we can look at it. One is by monitoring heart rate. Anything between 50 and 70% of your max heart rate is considered moderate. I think a good working range is between 60 and 70%. For an easy estimate of your max heart rate, just take 220 minus your age. The second way is by how you feel when exercising. We should overall feel comfortable with our effort and be breathing slightly deeper. If we are exercising with a friend, we'd be able to have a conversation with them. Unlike high intensity exercise, where the conversation becomes difficult and exercise starts to feel more uncomfortable with your heart rate now in that 70 to 85% of your max. You can break up these exercise sessions, but you should try and make each session at least 10 minutes long. Weight training for most qualifies as a moderate intensity exercise and can be included in your weekly exercise total. To get the most out of your resistance workouts, you need to include lower body exercises like squats as they are great at increasing your heart rate and improving blood flow into your legs. Exercises that work your glutes in the contracted position are excellent in not only helping strengthen the muscles of your pelvic floor, but also the surrounding muscles. One of the best exercises to do this is hip thrusts. You can start by doing these unweighted and slowly add weight as you're ready, or you can do them unilaterally with one leg raised. The next exercise is pull-throughs. These can be done with bands or cables. It's important to keep your back straight as you bend forward Go down until you feel a good stretch in your hamstrings and glutes, then fully extend your hips in the top position. It's also important not to make eye contact with anyone while doing this exercise. Exercise improves nitric oxide levels in the body and nitric oxide has been shown to improve erectile function. To find out how to further increase your nitric oxide production, watch this video next. That way, we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.